Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today's video is going to be a quick one where we're going to be going over how to have to double click to interact or to do anything really but I'm just going to be saying interact as it covers everything and it's just nice and easy to say. Again this is where you have to double click the mouse but it can be any button as well in order to do something else. So I press play what's going to happen is if I were to press left click which you see nothing is happening. If I press it and press it nothing happens but if I press it quickly after each other like that you can see in the top left it said interact so I haven't actually done any code to go after it I've just put a print string just so you can see that it is happening but I have to double click really quickly in order for this to work now you can change how quickly the player actually has to do this so it's very easy to customize but this is what we're going to be going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it so the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint which for me is content third person VP blueprints third person character and then we're going to right click and get the button in which we want to be pressing and to double press so for me that is going to be a left mouse button but again for you this could be whatever button you want then we're going to create a new variable and we're going to name this click count so how many times we have clicked or pressed the button whatever you want to name it and we want this to be an integer so it's a numerical value we'll compile save and leave the default value as zero like so then if we hold control we can drag this in and get it and out of this we're going to get an increment integer if I spell that correctly we have an increment int there and what that does is it simply just gets the click count adds one to it and then sets that to the new value because whenever we press left mouse button we want to increase how many times we've clicked it by one and that's what that does there then out of this we're going to get a greater than or equal to integer so an integer is greater than or equal to an integer so we can see how many times we've pressed it and compare that to how many times we want to press it so for me I want to do a double click so that's going to be a two but for you this could obviously be three if you want to triple click it or one you wouldn't need to obviously but two three four however many times you want the player to press it input that in there then hold down B left click to get a branch with that as a condition connecting into there so that we now can see if we have or haven't pressed it as many times as we need to. False will do nothing as we haven't done it enough yet and true is going to be the code of which we want to do. So if you have your interact code you can put that here and I do have different videos where I've gone over creating proper interact code if you want which I'll leave in the link in the description down below and you just place that after the true here. Or again whatever you want it to do but for me I'm just going to do a very simple print string just as that's all I need to do and I'm going to type interact in here so I know that it's working. So again just for the purpose of development I'm putting in the print string here but you obviously do the code you want. But now you'll notice that what will happen is if we press play and if we left click, I'll wait a couple seconds and I left click again, it's going to come up with interact. That is because we're not ever resetting it. So every time we press it, it's going up by one, but we want to have to double click quickly as that is how that mechanic normally works. So out of released, we're going to get a re-triggerable delay and the duration here is how quickly you want the player to press it. So I'm going to set it to 0.1 and you can obviously increase or decrease this for however you like it will probably just take you to get in and keep changing it about to see what works perfectly for you to see how long it's going to take and if that works for how you want it. And a re-triggerable delay will always restart every time it's fired off. So if the player presses it and this hasn't finished yet and they press it again it's going to start back before it resets to zero as that is how we want this to work. And to reset it to zero all we're going to do is set our click count integer here back to zero like so and that is all we need to do. This should now work perfectly for us. So if we compile, say if you can see that when we press the button, it's going to increase it by one, check to see if we pressed it enough times, and if we have, it will then do the code. And when we let go, it's going to then reset it back to zero if we haven't pressed it again in time. So let's hit play and test this out. Press the left mouse button, wait a bit, press it again, press it again, you'll see nothing is happening. But if we press it really quickly, you'll see that it came up with interact up at the top left there, as it's done the code I have, which is just a simple print string like this. So I think that'll be it for this video. As we've done everything we want to do, like I said, it will just be a nice, quick and simple one where again, we've just done it. So we have to double press something from which for me is the left mouse button, but this could be any button you want. For example, Minecraft has double pressing W in order to run. So again, set this up for however you want. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>